Good morning guys. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Actually I am with one of my good friend and uh, you saw him before. He is Gary with us for uh, uh, the the ride, the rain ride you, you saw. We went to his school and uh, this is his collections of motorcycle. That is mine of course. Yeah here is his collections. He have uh, 17 motorcycles. So this is Gary. I am going to review a coach. <laughs> Do you think I am going to review a car? No. I am going to review this one. And this is my friend Gary. Yeah. Thanks brother. So this is Gary. You saw him before in my vlog. Yeah, this is a guy who having the school in uh, Tarlac. So I am going to review this big bike. And uh, you may think it's a car. It's not a car. It's actually a bike so I will go through one by one later guys so I will uh, tell you what is actually happening on this bike this is my first time I am riding a Goldwing 1800 CC DCT transmission and all the things so I'll see you on the road guys uh, now is here in my house now I am going to a little bit ride on the street and uh, little bit right on the expressway so let's see how it feel on the street and uh, let's see how it goes on the on expressway so it's huge bike and you can see it's a very huge it's like a coach but you need to have a techniques to ride in the in the street actually this is a six cylinder 1800 cc dct crazy there are so many options so many things i want to show you but i will go through one by one look at the dash this is a dash so just to start okay click honda then then click the button it start yeah it's on radio so there are so many things you can you can do here so many things so let me go one by one I will see you on the road guys okay boys uh, let's roll to the traffic how it's feel okay in the traffic you just focus on your side mirror that is the size of the bike before you getting to any big bike go down and check the size and measure the size and keep it on your mind so whenever you maneuver you will have an idea oh that is my bike size so you have to move in this way you have to move it on that way so that is how it is so in the traffic this one little bit hard like a not not like a naked bike or uh, or other bikes you can just uh, maneuver everywhere but this one you can see the the bike is same like a car the size so you just have to study first the size of the bike then just uh, put it on your mind that is my size of the bike and just roll same like a car when you are sitting in the car you really only can see on the front but uh, but you always keep in your mind that your size of your car according to that you moving there and here so same thing here so only the thing is here you cannot just uh, go inside because you know you need to focus on the on the size of the bike so especially on the rear there is a panniers so you can see on the on the glass there is a panniers so that is the first thing you have to do uh, if you're riding a gold wing or any bikes 
with the panniers we said that this one is you feel like a, you know it's a heavy bike actually it's a heavy bike 1800 cc dct transmission and all the things but when you sitting on the, this bike and when, when it's roll it's actually light you cannot feel anything same like a normal uh, maybe 150 cc bike that what you feel the the you cannot feel the weight because the suspension is great and you can see the suspension is here you can it's moving you can see that is moving so they made it that way beside that it has a, so much of electronics can you believe this bike has a reverse gear yes the bike has a reverse gear so if you are on the uphill and uh, you want to go down or you want to put it on the front so you just put it on the neutral there is a two two gears here and it's neutral and one is drive and there is a manual and automatic also you can press this one it will go manual automatic and you can just shift shift like a sports car so beside that so there is a reverse gear so when you're in the neutral you just put this button here click that button so it will go no uh, reverse then there is a two levers there uh, on this bike that is you can just press this button for reverse the other one is on the front that is for forward so when you are in the uphill and if you want to move around the bike if you want to turn the bike it's very easy to turn because it's a bit heavy bike so in the traffic like any big bike you can just roll around but you just have to make sure that the size of the size of the bike and it's so smooth and you don't feel that the gear shift uh, I actually don't use any automatic uh, bikes because in Diego Sanai uh, I need a clutch and a gear but uh, this one when you roll uh, in five minutes I already okay now with this bike this is my first time I am riding the gold wing this is actually my retirement bike okay the comfort of this bike is amazing is it's like a, you know you are in the you are in the boat you are in the water it's 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 float like this any any bouncy road is it's just like bounce float like this normally and it's it's nice and it's you can just maneuver like this just uh, like a normal bike it's very light when you're rolling it's very light when you're in, when you're on the stand it's a bit heavy and you need to practice to get up this bike also uh, the power oh grab me crazy do you believe this bike is six cylinder 1800 cc and automatic also you can put a manual also so when you give a throttle automatically you can see the gear is shifting on certain rpm it will shift that is actually automatic gear then uh, there is so much of electronics here you can uh, just uh, press uh, here is a button so you just uh, press that button it will uh, uh, heats up your uh, handlebar so throttle and uh, your this handlebar grip so whenever you are in the cold it's you know it's nice because your hand is not going to be a you know cramp we said that you can just uh, put uh, also the seat on the seat you can there is a heat also, heater also in the seat on the behind you can just put a heater on the seat and there is a mode you can now I am on the touring mode so when you put it on the tour mode all the engine and the suspension will adjust on your uh, for touring mode so it will be soft and uh, sports mode little bit the suspension become little bit stable and it's become little bit stiff but that is for a uh, sports mode so also rain mode is there so when you put it on the rain mode the traction will change and the engine power will become lower 
and uh, you can just go through uh, I think you saw on my last vlog with the uh, Jody Vance Gary was riding this one on the rain with the cruise control and everything it's nice it's a uh, it's nice to ride only the thing is you need to ride in the traffic like a car actually I feel like uh, you know I am sitting in the car <laughs> with the handlebar So, if you ask me if it, it's uh, overheat, no, it's not heating up. You can see the temperature only half, even the traffic not heating up. Uh, it's nice, nice ride to traffic if you, if you know how to ride in the traffic. If you don't know how to ride in the traffic, <laughs> wala na, nga nga. So, you should learn first before getting this kind of bike not like uh, some of them they are coming from underbone and buying the heavy bikes and semplang semplang not like that go everything step by step so city ride okay it's a ride okay ba uh, for me uh, if you are uh, not in hurry to reach somewhere uh, it's okay if you have uh, so much of passion so you don't want to just you know go to zigzag and uh, maneuver all the places this is for chill ride is okay no overheating just uh, open throttle and it goes you don't have to shift any gear just uh, sit like you sitting in the sofa and go also here you can adjust uh, your uh, riders mode there is a riding mode for you can adjust to one person two person and with the loads and there is a panniers on the rear and on the side so whenever you putting the uh, weight on the panniers you can adjust to uh, the mode so the suspension will adjust for you go up and down now I am on the single rider mode single rider mode so I am only 5'4 so I need the single rider mode so it can go a bit uh, lower this is actually not cheap bike the bike will cost you around 2.2 million pesos yeah in the province you can have uh, maybe five houses in city you can have uh, maybe two bedroom flat but in the house you can only sleep motor you can go everywhere you want so this is a 2.2 million pesos this bike and uh, it's good and uh, probably this will be my retirement bike actually this is my retirement bike I love this bike before before I really love this gold wing not the old gold wing, old gold wing is uh, a little bit uh, ugly so this one they made it bit uh, like a sporty type and everything so beside that before I'm going to expressway I want to show you these things are here this is crazy there are so many settings I will go through one by one uh, later or uh, in my another vlog yeah guys uh, back to NLEX so now no traffic little NLEX right tayo so how it feel so the feeling of this bike is amazing you can see the wind drag is stopping by the windshield so when you press this button you can see the windshield look at it it's go up so when it's go up no wind drag so you look uh, you look like a sitting in the car with a no wind so beside that the torque of this one is crazy i am on the let me put it on the two sports mode now he's on the sports mode so when you put it on the sports mode when you give in the accelerator see 
outdoor key this one wah <laughs> ini given little accelerator it goes like a crazy i think my back back panniers is open you can see the panniers is shows open so i need to stop somewhere to close the pan is open you can see everything it will show us clearly here so i need to find a place to stop guys hold on hold on hold on hold on ayo na lang wala malaman diyan eh dito na lang tayo stop na ako dito check ko na lang ano sira hindi sira actually it's a uh, is open so go to neutral now neutral then side stand no oh, stand is there then get down <coughs> now this is should be off okay now is close is close so now only shows the stand so everything you can monitor here oh ala na di ba that is how it is so putting on the drive is a drive and the sports gear 1 so just look at it is automatically change the gear that is a automatic gear oh see is changing I got 3000 rpm is already for the for fifth gear so the power of the engine is crazy 1800 cc is not not a joke so you can just uh, maneuver everywhere it's the suspension is amazing you can just uh, do your banging banging or uh, other things like normal bike it's so light you can just uh, lean as much you want <laughs> just a little counter steer the bike is leaning the bike is leaning like a <laughs> bicycle gravel and imagine that this bike is heavy and it's lean like that so the comfort of this bike is crazy amazing and uh, when you open the throttle it goes like uh, you know now you can see 120 and uh, that is a mph also there so you you calculate it so mph and this is a uh, kilometers per hour so it goes like that and the fuel average is not full tank uh, i just put a 500 pesos just now so you can see that is a 299 kilometers average it means the fuel consumption is good very good of course it's a touring bike and you need to have a fuel consumption i don't know how honda made this one it's crazy so you guys feeling <laughs> not a not not a motorcycle anyway so like i am riding a sports car amazing nice awesome let me try the cruise control here let me get a nice place and i just want to try the cruise the cruise control of this one is nice i want to see how the cruise control work on this bike and how the suspension is they are going to stabilize in the cruise Cruise, cruise, press cruise, nice cruise, then just yes. yeah, cruise control with a seventh gear. You see, that is a seventh gear and it's cruise control, and the bike get is gone smooth. See, it's stable, it's like a car riding a car with a cruise control, it's not even moving. The other bikes, whatever I tried in the cruise control, the bike is 
like little bit move all all the time when you are in the cruise control just you know you need to adjust your path you need to adjust your body little bit but this one when you put it on the cruise control it's the uh, <laughs> the bike is stable like a not moving from the lane that is crazy that is crazy this is the first time i saw the cruise control work this way grab it let me try again Ooh. it's a seventh gear and the reverse total eight gear the reverse gear you can actually do it in one gear you can do go forward and backward so all the stuff see the bike is stable grab it this is something new i am feeling on the cruise control even the road is bouncy the the suspension is automatic set you can see there is a guy guy is picture the suspension is already set grab it but oh, see you can just uh, you can just uh, sleep if no if no traffic if no coach you just uh, put it it's like a, you know you can just uh, say gold wing tesla it's like a tesla is keep the keep the line it's like a tesla grab it okay then you grab it sarap that's why i like you know in my retirement you know when is go oh, matanda and the pagod and you feel pain on the kamai so this one is you know for your retirement see that is a 100 kilometers per hour here and the bike is so stable and not moving from the line it's like a, you know there is a camera sensors are installed and it's not moving to the line change and nothing this is crazy amazing i can't imagine that this much of stable on this bike especially the suspension nice amazing awesome so this the cruise control and the other thing i can say in the in this bike is something different i never experienced anything like this and i have a call i don't know who is calling and call and call and call and call i don't know somebody call i can't see the name and i am not connected to bluetooth so balana this is crazy so let me go through one by one when i am coming back i will just show you more things so before reaching to ambanga i am going to meet actually chris bike tech let's meet the boys I think Chris is not there. We'll see. What's up, brother? Hello, nice Hi. to see you. Hi, it's uh, Chris. Oh, bike tech. No one. Everybody knows. I am always here. Oh guys, uh, I am going to show you how the reverse works on this motorcycle. Okay, now let's start. Let's start this beats. you have to be on the neutral put it on the neutral and like i said this is the reverse button when you click the reverse button it's already reverse then you can even go forward yes 
see here when you click here it's for reverse reverse so this is forward you don't need an accelerator oh look at here it goes reverse and forward and guys it has a reverse mode Yeah, after uh, some uh, lunch and uh, chit chat with uh, Chris, I am going back to Manila. So I will give more about this uh, gold wing on my next vlog. So I have to go a little bit faster because it's going to be rain. So you can see here now I connected my phone while listening music. You can just drive like a car chase. Yeah. So guys, I will see you on my next vlog. Thanks for watching and support all the vloggers. So keep sharing my channel because I want to help people. So whenever you share people, there will be more subscriber, more views. So that whatever I am getting, that it will go to uh, the people who really need the help. So guys, see you on my next vlog. Peace.